Variety is the spice of life, so the oft-quoted saying goes, and these days the scope of customization offered to consumers is vast. We're all individualists, and basic just doesn't cut the mustard in 2018. And that applies whether you're talking about cars or pizza. Here we are at a local eatery franchise, and just look at the array of choices, which makes things a little tough if you're a bit indecisive. So before we get overwhelmed with our topping selections and the similarly complicated subject of our report this week, the Mercedes-Benz S-Class, let's rewind to a simpler time. Hello and welcome to the year 1972. Next to me is the Mercedes-Benz W116, the first model in the lineage to officially wear the S-Class title. Now any motoring aficionado worth their weight in data will know that S-Class stands for Sonderklasse or Special Class if your German is a bit rusty. And while this model might not be particularly special by contemporary standards, it was certainly quite something in its day. Okay, so there's no place to keep your iPhone or a pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks, but let's just for a second dwell on the immense quality of the thing. Buttons that click satisfyingly, doors that require two hands to close, and rotary dials that require force that my screen accustomed fingers aren't quite used to. It's awesome. Admittedly, it's easy for some to get nostalgic about the way things were, but the truth is, the old S-Class wasn't as rudimentary as we are suggesting, and there were options to be specified at that time. Amusingly, the list included stuff like anti-lock brakes, an audio system, and air conditioning, all bits that we expect as standard in a contemporary car. Yes, this genesis of the S-Class was a pioneer of future forward technologies. And perhaps the more things change, the more they stay the same, because its newest descendant shows a great deal of foresight too. For 2018, Mercedes-Benz rolled out a few changes to their top-tier sedan, the W222 series that was first launched in 2013. Now, when I say a few changes, I mean in the region of 6,500. But you'd struggle to tell given the subtlety with which the exterior tweaks were approached. Styling enhancements include new lights and reshaped bumpers. For more visual attitude, you can have the AMG line or AMG line plus package as sported by our tester. A new engine choice joins two in the form of an inline six cylinder diesel. Of course, you can still have eight or a dozen cylinders, as well as those tire shredding Mercedes AMG variants. On test here is the entry level S450L, equipped with a turbocharged V6 engine. It performs in a confident yet restrained manner, which is appropriate to a car of this stature. All S models, barring the range topping 65 AMG, are equipped with a 9 speed G Tronic transmission that provides satisfyingly seamless shifts. Now we must get some of the obvious observations out of the way. This is a lovely car to pilot or to be piloted in. Refinement, comfort, plushness, all these virtues are embodied rather well by the S-Class, as expected. It should be noted again that the sky is the limit to just how special you want your special class to be. So as we hinted, there is a seemingly endless list of goodies that can be had with the new S-Class, and running through all of them would take us well into dinner and probably into breakfast. So we've picked out a few of the salient ones. And we will start with the on-road experience. 
in addition to pneumatic suspension, you can order active body control, road surface scan and curve tilting. Put simply, the Trio assesses the state of the tarmac and sets itself up accordingly so that you stay level, thus not spilling any cheese from your calzone onto the carpets. Then there is something called Energizing Comfort Control, a suite of settings that, as the title indicates, re-energizes and comforts occupants. It coordinates stuff like the fragrance dispenser, massage function, and climate control. Selecting the hot stone therapy function while snacking on a margarita really enhances the experience, trust us. Reading about the driving assistance package makes one think that Mercedes-Benz should have just gone all the way and thrown in a chauffeur. The system enables semi-autonomous driving, aiding with steering, including lane changes and evading wayward pedestrians. And what of connectivity? Ah yes, connectivity. The first word uttered by newborn babies in 2018. Well, you'll be amply catered for with a fully comprehensive infotainment system and a cute little in-car companion that I read about in the press release called Ask Mercedes. So you basically say, hey Mercedes, hey Mercedes, and she doesn't respond. Or you can um, find her through a little button on the steering wheel, hello, the track was not found. and you can issue some commands. Dial number. Telephone unavailable. She's a bit not agreeable at the moment. Anyway, but you can also have remote parking as an option in this car. Yes, the 2018 Mercedes-Benz S-Class is a fantastic piece of kit any way you slice it. And certainly a reminder that shopping in the ultra-luxury saloon ambit can be unenviably tricky. Hashtag prestige motoring conundrums. Hashtag substitute.